Hi there, Mahar Haddad here. In uh, this new video, I would like to show you how you can do priority for the WhatsApp traffic. So we know that nowadays a lot of people are using WhatsApp, even for business, WhatsApp is becoming a very important uh, application that we use it uh, all the time. So once you have congestion on your network, so your network is congested and a lot of traffic is happening, then this may make some uh, delay on the WhatsApp traffic to pass through your network. So people who are uh, trying to uh, speak on WhatsApp, then they may have some uh, uh, problem and some delay. And that is uh, specifically for, uh, uh, I would say, the ISPs who are providing internet service uh, to uh, customers and they want to do some priority for WhatsApp. So uh, I will show you in a very nice way how you can uh, make the priority for WhatsApp. Now, I'm not sure if this is also including the video calls and uh, the uh, phone calls, uh, if the priority will apply for them. But I'm pretty sure that it will be applied on the text messages. So this will be applied, but still I'm not sure if it is for the video and for the WhatsApp calls. I believe that the, the uh, uh, WhatsApp calls is also on uh, this lab, it will be applied. But the, the videos, I'm not sure because the video, maybe WhatsApp are using some other servers uh, to be able to make the video. So that's something I'm not very sure about it. You may test it yourself and see if it works for you. So let's go directly to the lab and start doing the work. So this is my home uh, router. I'm now uh, sitting at home doing this video. And on my home router, I do have internet and I have uh, uh, my inside network, which is 10.0.0. something. So how can we do priority for WhatsApp? Let's say that at the home, I have now like, a, um, I will make it like something like a 10 megabit per second. Of course, I have more bandwidth now, but let's think that this is the internet that I have at home. So first we have to collect the WhatsApp servers. So how we can do that? We have to go to IP we go to forward to firewall and then we'll go to the filter rules. I will create the first filter rule. I will say anything going to the internet from my network, which is 10.0.0.0 slash 24. And it is going to do WhatsApp. So I have to put here the content and the content I do have those content. I have tested them and they take me to WhatsApp, which are watch.com, whatsapp.net, wa.e. Maybe I have make it a bit bigger so you see it and WhatsApp and dot wa dot me. So I'll take the first one, I will take it and then I put it in the content. So any traffic going to the internet from my uh, network, going to WhatsApp, then over here, what I can do, I can say action and then add the destination address, which is the WhatsApp server address, add it inside the destination, uh, uh, inside an address list, I will call it WhatsApp and leave it there for four days. You can leave it more, you can leave it less as you want, but I just will leave it for four days. And then I will say enter. So this is the first one. Then I will copy that one. All I need to do is just change the content. So whatsapp.net, so copy. Uh, we go to advanced, we put it there. So this is second rule, copy wa.me. I put it there apply copy then whatsapp i put the content there apply and then i make the last copy and we have that one so now by doing this i do have those rules so let's maybe make here comment and i'll say whatsapp so we can differentiate so all of those rules are uh, for WhatsApp. And also I would like to take uh, out some columns so you can see the bytes in a moment. Okay, very good. So those are the WhatsApp. So now that means if I open my phone, so I'm now having my phone with me in my hand. And if I go to WhatsApp and I send a WhatsApp message, so you see, I just opened WhatsApp. Here we go. So it has detected some uh, packets. So if I uh, write uh, a WhatsApp to, to whatever, uh, let's I'm write something to my wife now and here we go so directly you see the packets are being uh, increasing and now if we go to the address list we can see that it has already detected uh, um, three uh, whatsapp uh, servers all right very good so the whatsapp um, servers th those are their ips are being detected now by just doing this small test now what i need to do i have to say that uh, uh, 
um, um, I need to make a, we make a queue, which is the parent queue, which has 10 megabit, which is the internet I have at home. And then I will say 8 megabit will go for the normal traffic, like anyone doing Facebook, like anyone doing download, doing uh, uh, chatting, doing whatever, uh, watching YouTube. So this 8 megabit will be for them. And then we will occupy something like 2 megabit and we'll give it for WhatsApp. And I'll give a priority for WhatsApp so the traffic of WhatsApp always go before any other traffic. To be able to create the queues, we have to go to the firewall first and then we have to create the mango rule. Forget about those mango rules. Those are for some other things that I do have at home. Now, if we go to the mango rule, I'll make one mango rule. And first I need to detect all the connections that my phone or anyone at my home are opening to WhatsApp. So the connection, I want to detect it. And then every connection which is open, it has packet which comes under it. So many packets will pass through that connection. So I will detect this connection. I will detect this packet and then I will apply it to a queue. So how to detect the uh, connection? So I have to say uh, pre-routing, that's the chain. Anything coming from 10.0.0.0 slash 24. Yeah, that's what I have to say. And then any connection uh, going uh, and then it is going to the destination address, which is WhatsApp. Then the action is to mark those connections and call them WhatsApp connections. So we make uh, those connections, we will mark them. So I'm marking those uh, WhatsApp connections. So anyone who is from my network trying to go to the WhatsApp server, then mark those connections. And then I will say here, maybe we can make a comment and say mark or mark WhatsApp connections. So I'm marking those connections that are open from my network to go to WhatsApp. So this is the uh, connection. But for the uh, quality of service or for the queue, we need to mark the package. So that means once the connection is open, all the packets of these connections will um, pass without any problem. So what we need to do, we have to mark those packets as well. So then we can say anything coming from 10.0.0.0 slash 24, which are from the connection mark that I have just created, which is WhatsApp connection, then action is to mark them, but mark what? The packets. And then I will call it WhatsApp packet. And then I will take out the password so it doesn't go down anymore to the other rules. So that's it. So now maybe we can also put the comment here and we can say mark WhatsApp packets. Very good. So now you can see that uh, this has started. So I have someone is using WhatsApp at home now and it is now marking the connection and all the packets of those connections are also being marked. Very good. So up to now, everything is perfect. And now what we need to do, we have to go to the queue and I'm going to use the single queue. So again, let's think of what we need to do. We have to make one queue, which is called parent. And this is coming from the network 10.0.0.0. So this is specifically for this network. And on this parent queue, I'm going to put 10 megabit on upload and 10 megabit on download. So I have more bandwidth, of course, at home. But let's say that just to make an example that I have only 10 megabit and 10 megabit uh, at home. So this is my upload. This is my download. And then I will say here apply. So this is the parent queue. Now I have from these 10 megabits, I have to give two for WhatsApp and eight for the other traffic. So let's do first for WhatsApp. So here we call it WhatsApp queue. So this is WhatsApp queue. And then I have to say anything uh, from 10 to 0 to 0 to 0 slash 24. Oops. So anything which is 10 to 0 to 0 to 0 slash 24. So with the traffic coming from this network, then give it a bandwidth of 2 megabit on upload, 2 megabit on download. And then I'll go to advanced and I will say, how can I say that is for WhatsApp? We have to use the WhatsApp packet, which I have already marked it. And it is also having the connection marked to it. And uh, we, it's also uh, related to the WhatsApp uh, traffic that I'm doing. 
and uh, then what I need to do, I give also priority, so it doesn't wait in the queue, so it goes already all the way in front of all other traffic. And then I'll put it under the parent queue, which is called parent. And I'll say apply. So look what we have now. I have, uh, I think someone is doing download now at home uh, because I get some uh, red color here. But anyway, I have now the WhatsApp queue, which is under the parent queue. It's getting two megabit, two megabit only for WhatsApp and it's making priority for WhatsApp. Now I have to say for the others, let them get eight megabit by eight megabit. So I'll create another queue. And then we call it others. 10.0.0.0 slash 24. Let them get 8 megabit, 8 megabit. And over here, we will leave the priority 8 because 8 is the least priority, 1 is the best. We don't make any uh, mark packets, so we say for other traffic, but we have to put it under the queue, which is parent. So this is what we have now. This is for the others, this is for the WhatsApp queue, and this is the parent. Very good. So now let's do some download to see what we are going to get. So I will open here a download for uh, Ubuntu, and uh, we see which of the queues now is gonna, you see only others is the one which is red. WhatsApp is not affected. I have tested this before and I have opened with my uh, wife uh, a video uh, conference. It worked, but again, I'm not sure if uh, the um, uh, the uh, contents that I have used here are also for the videos. So those contents that we use them, I'm not sure if it's for videos, for, for text messages, for sure, for voice, yeah, I'm like 90% for sure, but for videos, I'm not very sure. But again, uh, you can see, if we look now again to the queue, look, this is happening. And now your WhatsApp, you can just, uh, like, let me test uh, my wife to say, how are you? So uh, to see if this goes. Uh, hello. Yeah, I see directly it is arriving. So it's working perfectly WhatsApp, even though that it is congested, it's taking the whole bandwidth, but it worked perfectly on WhatsApp by just sending hello. I see that uh, it has been received. So that is all what I wanted to show you on uh, this video, how we can make priority for WhatsApp. So uh, first, how we could collect the WhatsApp servers and how we could make uh, the connection uh, marking and uh, the pocket uh, market as well, and how we have made the uh, simple queues. And we have seen it's working perfectly without any issue. If you like my way of teaching, please do not forget to put a like on this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you are notified by my new videos. Thank you very much and see you next time.